Well, if it was Election Day excitement you were looking for, there was a full dose of it at the College of the Bahamas' Tourism Training Center. That was the other location for advanced polling and early voting. It was also where Progressive Liberal Party leader the Right Honorable Perry Christie and DNA leader Branville McCartney voted today. Clint Watson was there. Make no mistake about it, general elections are here. The overwhelming support that the three major parties had at the polls from workers, agents, or supporters kept the excitement high as voters from the armed forces or for the first time regular civilians unable to vote on election day queued up to cast their ballots. Among them, leader of the opposition, Right Honorable Perry Christie and his wife Bernadette, who arrived amid fanfare. The process, Mr. Christie agreed, was relatively quick as he cast his ballot in Killarney. I think it represents progress. Obviously, um, we, we have to look and monitor and learn from this experience. Um, the numbers um, of students voting abroad are important, but not all that significant in the sense that there are large numbers of them. Um, we have our representatives um, around the United States and the Caribbean and the United Kingdom. And, you know, as I indicated before, we have to learn from this because small parties and independent candidates would find it next to impossible to be able to conform with the requirements of the law. Mr. Christie says he is encouraged by the intelligence he received from Grand Bahama and the other polls. He is convinced that voters are speaking loud and clear. There is a gold rush. Um, it is evident wherever you go, um, and that is encouraging to us. It is not a definitive or conclusive um, position, but most certainly it is encouraging to us given where we are today. Democratic National Alliance leader Bramble McCartney also casting his ballot in the advance polls. A confident McCartney says he expects to form the next government of the Bahamas. For the most part, he was satisfied with the process except for one concern his party encountered. It's a bit unfortunate um, that the family islands were, or we were not told about it until a few days ago. Um, I, I find that to be a bit unfortunate uh, because we were not able to submit uh, the necessary names uh, to participate in this process. Uh, but the fact that this process is here, I think it's a step in the right direction. Of course, we need a bit more of campaign, fin campaign reform uh, from the financial point of view, as well as the voting point of view. For the first time, along with the uniformed forces and poll workers, those who will be out of the country on election day were able to vote. That meant a lot for Raymond Winder, who was required to travel on business next Monday. It's a good thing, you know, one of the things that our countries continues to do is to move forward in terms of allowing more and more persons to participate in the process. You know, this year is approximately 7,000. I'm sure next time it around it's going to be at least two to three times that amount. How was the process for you? Very quick, very efficient, very organized, and as you can see out here, Bahamas are very passionate about their, their, about their politics, and it's so exciting to see. Right. Throughout the morning, there were constant exchanges between police and party supporters as officers tried to keep those supporters on the outside of the COB complex. However, the war of words erupted from time to time over which side had more supporters inside the complex. For the most part, though, the day went without incident. Clint Watson, ZNS News.